In this brief video, we will explain to you the equipment needed to perform transesophageal echo, the cardinal movements of operation, as well as how to clean and care for the probe. Here you will find displayed the necessary equipment to perform transesophageal echo. You will need a probe that is compatible with your ultrasound machine, gel, first step cleaning solution or equivalent, a bite block, a case for carrying the probe, as well as the ultrasound machine that is compatible with your echo probe. While every machine is slightly different, in general you will need to remove one of the probes already attached and replace it with the transesophageal probe. Next, we will explain the basic movements of transesophageal echo. Here is the control handle, which you will hold and manipulate as you perform the echo. There is an outer wheel, an inner wheel, as well as two buttons. Many probes also have a locking mechanism for the wheel. The first cardinal movement is anti and retroflexion. To antiflex, place your hand on the inner or larger wheel and rotate clockwise. As with all cardiac ultrasound, make slow and gradual movements. To retroflex, bring back to the neutral position and then rotate counterclockwise. With both anti and retroflexion, please be mindful of the esophagus and take care not to damage it. The head of the probe can also be manipulated to move left and right. To do this, place your hand on the outer and typically smaller wheel. To move left, rotate the wheel counterclockwise. To move right, rotate it clockwise. This type of movement is used infrequently. The next movement is rotational. Because the control handle is contiguous with the head of the probe, moving your wrist clockwise and anticlockwise will perform the exact same movement at the head of the probe. The buttons on the control handle adjust the angle of the ultrasound crystals within the probe tip, allowing you to change the imaging plane. These adjustments are essential for obtaining different views, such as transitioning from a four-chamber view to a long-axis view. Each movement should be small and deliberate to maintain image clarity. The temperature of the probe head is displayed below the crystal angle. Be mindful of this number, as the temperature can increase with prolonged and advanced image collection and can inflict thermal injury. We will now explain how to intubate the patient with the probe. The first step is to insert a bite block. The bite block was designed for non-intubated patients and will not fit over the endotracheal tube. You must alter this bite block by putting a slight cut in the side of it. This will allow you to manipulate it around the endotracheal tube and insert the bite block into the patient's mouth. Next, you must apply a liberal amount of lubrication into the bite block to allow the probe to pass easily. You can also apply lubrication directly onto the head of the probe. In ICU, intubating for transesophageal echo is typically done from the head of the bed. As the procedure is uncomfortable, please consider giving additional sedating agents. This may involve also changing the ventilator setting to a control mode. Start by inserting the transesophageal echo probe in a neutral manner. However, as it gets towards the back of the throat, slight antiflexion may be needed to help guide the head of the probe into the esophagus. Please be careful and only use gentle movements and avoid putting excess pressure. Depending on patient anatomy, a jaw thrust may be needed to assist with intubation. We will lastly explain how to clean the probe after your procedure. Here are some common cleaning supplies, although the exact methods used may vary depending on your institution. Please take whatever cleaning solution you have and begin at the control handle and wipe all the way to the head of the probe. Next, you will place the semi-clean probe in a container for transport. Please deliver it to the location designated by your institution for further sterilization. Thank you for joining us. We hope you found this video helpful and informative.